What's going on, (laughs) y'all? Well, I just finished watching Empire. Lord, it was a lot going on in this episode. Oh, my goodness. It was just, it was a, oh, Lord, it was a lot. I mean, I'm not going to go through the whole episode. I'm going to just talk about the stuff that had me dying laughing. Um... That had me like, you know, so, um, well, it started off with the free Lucius concert or whatever that Cookie was throwing. And, you know, Hakeem was like, well, why are we even doing this? Me and you both know he killed Bunky, so he deserves to be in jail and all this other stuff. So, you know, Cookie is basically doing it to take Empire back as her own or whatever. And she tries to, um get together with Mimi Whiteman who was a lesbian according to everybody I didn't even catch that part but I caught it later on when they was at that party so she's trying to you know get together and have her be on the team to take over Empire and whatnot. um so you know we go to Lucius in jail and see what he doing in jail and Cookie's cousin is in there Jamel and he's paranoid because Frank Gathers, who's like an old person, like a um person from their past they used to work for. Hi, I, f- I hope I say it right. Figure Aguilar, thank you for watching. Um, but yeah, it's an old person from their past, or he's paranoid, and you know he's thinking, you know, he's gonna kill me, he's gonna do something to me because of Cookie. So, you know, Frank Gathers comes into jail. Everybody think that him and Lucius have a rivalry. And Lucius is like, you know, whatever's going on between you and Cookie is you and Cookie. Me and you is me and you. So, um, did y'all peep? And mad people caught this on Twitter. PD Pablo <laughs> in the background um, when they was in jail. Um, somebody said that PD Pablo was in jail for his performance in Drumline. <laughs> I died. If you have not seen Drumline, Petey Pablo, really, Nyla, why oh, you gotta touch something? Petey Pablo was rapping in Drumline, and nobody even understood what he was saying in the song. He, like, each time that song come on, I have to put it on closed caption, because I don't know what he's saying. But yeah, that was hilarious. Yo, people on Twitter are ruthless, and it's so funny. Um, so, Cookie's sister's calling her, trying to find her, and, you know, let her know that he's, um, Frank is sending her with, oh, God, with Eve and Micah. Thank you for joining. What are you doing? Get off the floor. So, yeah. Get up. So, yeah. Yeah. She's trying to let her know, like, you know, Frank is, you know, he's after you. He's sending you stuff. Watch out. So, um, when they finally do get in touch, when she finally does get in touch with Cookie, and she comes in the house and Cookie, Cookie's niece, nieces is playing with her, 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 her wigs and everything. And she's trying to tell her, well, this is actually from Frank Gather. So, she excused the kids and she opens the box and it's the head of Jamel. Like, he was decapitated, and they sent his head in a box. Fast, not fast forward, rewind to when Frank was in the prison. Now, all this time, I'm thinking he eating a steak or something, like, rare. But, from what I was reading, he's a cannibal. So, from what it looked like, he is probably eating Jamel's eyeball. I don't know. Look at you, your hair is wild. <laughs> I don't know what he was eating, but his the thing his his little bib was bloody, and he eating whatever I think Jamel's eye I think it was I don't know right across from Jamel I'm just like I about threw up, <laughs> but then they sent his head in a box that is vicious, so you know I guess you know Lucius got word of it Lucius already knew. And him and Frank meet up, and Lucius basically flipped the script on him and had his goons kill him in jail. And people are so stupid. They said while he was while he was getting beat up, everybody was like thinking and they had everybody hates Chris. I'm like, oh my 
god, yo, people on Twitter, oh my god, my timeline, I like the majority of the people I follow on Twitter because they keep the jokes coming when good shows like this come on, like, it could be awards, it could be shows like this, it could be anything, and they crack me up, I be in tears for a whole hour, two hours, whatever, they crack me up, so... You know, Lucius basically flipped the script, and then he flipped the script again because um he knew that they were trying to do, like, take over Empire or whatever, so he secretly met up with Mimi, and she's like, there is no Empire without Lucius. So basically, Lucius is still running the Empire behind bars with the help of Mimi, and he basically threw Cookie... And Hakeem, all of them, off track with the whole empire. So, they, well, this episode was just, it was a lot going on. It was a lot of um, celebrity appearances. Al Sharpton, Marissa Tomei, um, P.D. Pablo, if you want to call him a celebrity. <laughs> um, um, who else? Um, Tyra, Tyra Farrell, who was... Um, she was Jesse in Poetic Justice, and she also played Doughboy and Ricky's mother in Boys in the Hood. Her and Lucius had words or whatever. And I thought it was hilarious, because I remember when Empire first came out, 50 Cent had a lot to say about Empire being similar to Power, and how Empire basically ripped off the concept of Power and Taraji. And I think somebody retweeted it to Taraji, and Taraji was like, I don't pay attention to cents, only dollars. Like, you know, she shaded 50 Cent. So I thought it was funny how in this episode, she said, um... Was 50 Cent talking? He talking mess again? His thirsty ass. <laughs> I'm sure 50 Cent caught that. I thought that was hilarious. And I also thought it was hilarious how um, Cookie and Anika, they was at the party. And um, Mimi kept calling her um, Anita. And Cookie was like, get up and dance with her, Anita. So when she got up, she was like, take off your jacket so she could see your sexy body, son. When Boo Boo Kitty... Boo Boo Kitty. When Boo Boo Kitty got up to dance and she stiff twerked, I about died. I'm like, you know what? I can't. I can't. And people already got vines and all these little clips already on Twitter. So I'm like, yo, people are quick. The internet is fast. The internet is fast and people are creative so i was just dying laughing at this whole episode like i was laughing i was shocked but it was a lot going on this episode and from what it looked like because jamal was my favorite last season it looked like people it looked like people ain't gonna like jamal this season because he's gonna be Lu lucius 2.0 we all know lucius is vicious but we love lucius for being vicious but you know, that's basically the first episode. I mean, it's the first episode. It was a lot. When I say a lot, a lot going on in this episode already. So we already know the season itself is going to be cray cray. So I can't wait for it. And I will be periscoping it every week like I do with Love and Hip Hop Hollywood and Basketball Wives LA unless something else comes up. But I'm going to make it my business to always be here on a Wednesday. Sidebar. The show that came on before Empire Rosewood, it was pretty good in my opinion. I mean, some people didn't like it. I like Morris Chestnut in that role. I didn't see nothing wrong with it. I thought he was a good, what was he, a, um, like a medical examiner or whatever, and he had his own issues. Like, I like the show so far. So, I mean, we'll see. I'll be watching that every week, too. I might not periscope it, but... I think I'll be watching that, too. That, that seems like it's a good show. And, you know, I'm all for supporting these black shows. Definitely. Because, I mean, it's about time. We got to support. We got to support. I support black anything. So, um, yeah. But, well, I'll be... This is a Periscope. So, I will be uploading this to YouTube, too. But, yeah. It was just a lot that went on in this episode. And I am so hyped for the rest of this season. So, I'll be here every week. And I hope you guys catch on. I hope you guys watch. And I, if not, then, you know, watch the replay. Um, you know, replay my Periscope. Or you can watch it on YouTube.
So I see you guys in the next Periscope. If I feel like getting on later, I will. If not, probably tomorrow. We'll see. So thank you for watching. Good night.